are going to make a rigid body simulator in Blender. So first of all, open your First of all, delete everything, including the default cube. First of all, let's add a toys. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rigid body simulator. So if you're a beginner in our Team Club uh, tutorial, uh, I mean channel, so make sure to subscribe our, to our channel and leave a comment. So first of all, let's add a toys and then go to edit mode. Let's just grab the bottom part, the half part, and then grab it down. And then R, X, 90 degrees. And then just um, let's shift D. Set. First of all, we are going to start making a chain. So, start making a chain. You know how a chain is ma made. So, if you will duplicate, well, you will duplicate this and then rotate it like this. Uh, rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis, of course. And then close, select everything and then shift D and arrange it like this. Like each other on top of each other, but rotate it. And then Hold Shift R. Oops. Shift R. Why doesn't it happen? I think we have to duplicate it uh, more. More. Like, if you will click Shift R, it will duplicate by itself. So let's uh, rename this collection. We will rename it as Chain. So we will actually select our the last part. Go to our uh, physics tab and then select rigid body active. We will select mesh. So when we uh, play the, this animation, you can see it's falling down. We don't want that. We want that every single object has it. So first of all, select the top pieces like this. And then last is select the, the bottom piece that we added the physics. And then go to object animation i mean rigid body copy from active when you do like this you can see from every chain every piece of chain it has now a physic tab rigid body so when we play it should fall but we don't want it to fall so select it whole and then grab z grab it to the top let's add a plane scale five or more Scale more, that's enough, I think. Okay, and then select the bottom part, go tab, and then select the bottom part, shift A. First of all, let's add a, a let's uh, put the origin, uh, the, um, the cursor to the bottom there. So we will add a UV sphere for a wrecking ball. We will make a wrecking ball simulator because I I wanted to make this so I can teach you how to make uh, simulators. So usually the uh, the wrecking ball is uh, 30 kilograms but more. So for now let's hide it and then play this animation. So you can see it's going through the plane. We don't want that. We want it to collide with the plane. So select your plane rigid body and then passive let's just play it you can see now it's colliding with it because let's just show our bowl now we can see it's um, being it's colliding with it so that's what we want that is what we want so now let's just select uh, the chain and the wrecking ball and then Grab Z just about there, and this will be 30 kilograms as we wanted. So select the top part, the top chain, and then we wanted to hang the the whole chain to be the main part that is holding the whole chain. So if you will do it passive, you can see it's holding the all, but it won't do as we want. So we will do uh, active, we will stay in active, but we will uh, uncheck dynamics. And then just play it and yes, 
as we want it. It is now holding it. Our chain is a bit small. We want to make it big, bigger, so it won't uh, be like this. So when we play it, it's much better. So when we want our chain, we will rotate it. We will select the whole top part and then uh, go to the side view. R. Wait, R. Y and then almost R Y 45 that will be enough or more actually I will do it almost like this and then grab it and put it over there when we will play it you can see it, it, it's, it is falling apart because this wrecking ball is too heavy what we will do, we will select this chain so we will just make it almost about 4 kilograms and then select the other chain parts we will go to top view and then hide the plane we will select the all uh, top parts and then select the last part go to object and then rigid body copy form active so now every single object of the chain is 4 kilograms. Only the wrecking ball is 30 kilograms. So now let's just play it. It's falling down. Why it's happening? Oh yeah, I just copied this. Okay. So now we can see it's not falling apart. So what we want, we just want the ball be down but not touching the ground so we will just go here to the beginning why right it's like this okay let's fix it so sometimes it will happen rigid body you have to do it again i don't like this thing in blender so i'm just going to back because Actually, I don't like when Blender does like this. So, so now it is fixed. I just fixed it. So, this is what we want. Let's go to the beginning. If you want to move your mesh, you have to go to the beginning, or your whole uh, animation will be destroyed. So, we wanted to touch the ground, but not too down. So, let's go to the beginning. And then just a bit high almost about there so just play the animation I think that's enough yes I love it now we want something to be there it's uh, something that the wrecking ball hits it we don't want like uh, a very empty space nothing is very boring right so let's just uh, go to top view. I'm just going to uh, cursor uh, to select it. Yes, that's it. Cursor to select it. Shift S and then cursor to select it. I'm still learning it actually. Shift A, add a cube. Let's just scale it up almost about there. And then go to side view, grab set. Let's just make it a bit high up on the ground. Go to modifiers and then we will add an array modifier. We will do 10, count 10. And let's, we want to make space or it will just explode. We will do 1.03. Um, so yes, that's enough. Then we will add another array modifier. It will be a uh 10 count of course but the x-axis will be zero and y-axis will be 10. it's very far actually it's not going to be 10 it's going to be one so yes that's we want that's what we want so 1.0303 so yes that's what we want now we are going to make um 
uh, and we are going to make it like this but we are seeing it's going like stairs so we will uh, going to add another array modifier and this time it will go on the z-axis so z-axis 1 and then no actually 1.03 and then pound 10 actually let's make it it's too much let's make it 4 yes let's go to top view scalar a bit down grab shift z like this so now we are going to go to the physics tab rigid body and everything's correct dynamic active okay so when we play we can see it still did not interact so when we are going to go to um, actually we, want to, we have to apply the modifiers so it will work correctly so tab a p by those parts so now we can see it is all a uh, or uh, sub, um, a long part like separated but we don't want uh, the whole joining in the same origin so select it all and then we are going to do object set origin origin to geometry so now every piece of block has its own origin so when we play now you can see why it isn't working I think it's too big so let me just try to make it small I think the wrecking ball it isn't strong enough so let's make it 50 I suppose so I think the mat is very high let's make it 0.5 and the wrecking ball 30 again so let's select our point um, select one and then 0.5 select the whole uh, select the whole grid all set let's just select the whole grid like this and then well, so now everything is 0.5 what happened to the ground why did it, why did it turn passive so it's okay let me try it will take time to try you have to try and try and try so go back head and everything is fine so now uh, I don't know why it isn't working so let's try zero for now um, yes yeah, zero did work then select the last part object rigid body copy from active now everything is zero now let's just play it's again passive I don't know why it is changing every time so now let's just play and then yes this is what you want 